Bonne de Giona, Bonne de Gesse, Croiso in Canger Arbenigni. It's such a pleasure, ladies and gentlemen, to be here to present this concert for you with American pianist Paula Fan. This is a concert of Welsh song, but Welsh song with a difference, I'd like to think. We, of course, now at the end of 2020, come to the end of the Beethoven celebrations. And Beethoven was born, we think, in December 1770. I say we think because he was baptized on the 17th of December. And some of you may not know of the important link between Beethoven and Wales, because Beethoven was commissioned to arrange 26 Welsh tunes in 1810. And some of them are well known, but most of them are unknown. They are 18th century tunes. And through Beethoven's work and legacy, these ancient folk songs have been preserved. I'd like to sing two folk songs arranged by Beethoven to begin this concert. The first one is Kroisau Graigati. Kroiso means welcome, of course. Kroisau, the old form. This, this shows the true hospitality of the Welsh and the charitable um, nature uh, of us as Welsh people, that the, the door to the house was always open and that we look after the poor. And the second song is really a very romantic story about the Welsh version of Atlantis, because there is, in fact, there are many legends called Cantrer Gwaelod, which is in the Bay of Cardiganshire, of a place that sunk into the sea and one can hear the bells on a clear day. But this has a romantic tinge because there's a young girl involved and there's a young man who loved money more than he loved her. But she says, I would prefer to live in my rather poor cottage than to be in a palace under the sea.
Well, during the 20th century, when Wales began having serious composers, um, they naturally turned to the folk songs again and set their own versions of Welsh folk songs. And Grace Williams was one of the most important early composers of this genre in the early 20th century. She was born in 1906, and not only was she a remarkable composer, but she was a woman. And at that time, it, there weren't so many women composers, of course. And um, we'd like to perform two folk songs arranged by Grace Williams. The first is called A Gwyth, which means the loom. And this is a rather poignant song in which the person working at the loom considers their life and when they might die. Uh, no, none of us know when we might die. And comparing life with the work of the loom, um, one won't be finished before the other. It's the most beautiful tune that the well-known Welsh composer William Matthias wrote um, just a couple of years after Grace Williams's setting. And the second song by Grace Williams is a lullaby in which the parent probably tries to get the baby to sleep. Cascadi from Henton Tluce. Sleep you, my beautiful child. Oh, 
Grace Williams was a great friend of the English composer Benjamin Britten, and Britten's music is known throughout the world. And in 1941, Britten, during his time in America, he was in America between 1939 and 1942, during the Second World War, he wrote a collection of folk songs, and among these is a Welsh folk song, The Ash Grove, which is very well known. And um, Britain used to write to Grace Williams when he was a young man. Grace Williams was seven years older. And he used to send his competition, send his compositions rather, to um, Grace Williams. They weren't in competition, of course. And um, she would give him comments. And in fact, she didn't like what he'd done with the ash grove and she accused him of playing cat and mouse with the rather simple Welsh melody but you can make what you like of that comment and indeed you could decide for yourselves whether you like this arrangement or not. It's Llwyn On originally and it's a story about a rich squire a landowner who has one daughter who is the heiress to the great fortune. And one day at Llwynon, the young man arrives and the squire in a rage takes his bow and arrow, but he's not such a good shot and he hits his daughter. She dies, and her last words are, I would rather die by the bow that was meant for my beloved than live in, with riches in Llwynon. And the second arrangement by Britain was one that he made in 1976, the last year of his life, and this is called Begelior Gwenif Gwyn, which means watching the white wheat. Or, I was lonely and forlorn, as Britain calls it in English. And this is a very famous Welsh story, a true story, about, once again, a young man and a young woman. And she is the daughter of a rich farm owner and he is just a peasant boy. And she is made to marry the son of the local squire, and Will leaves the village. He can't bear the thought of Anne marrying. But he has a dream, and in the dream, he dreams 
that her husband is dying. So he comes back to the village, but it is not the husband who is dying. It is Anne who is dying of a broken heart. And Will died not so long afterwards. So two rather tragic but beautiful stories set to music by the preeminent composer of the 20th century in England, Benjamin Britten. Ah. Uh. 
Performing these songs with Paula reminds me of the first time I ever worked with Paula, which was seven years ago. I was invited to Tucson, Arizona for a festival of Benjamin Britten's music because that year was the centenary of Britten's birth. And I performed a lot of his music that year around the world. But it was the first time we worked together and we have continued to work together since that time in more than a hundred concerts. But this year is special, let's say, because we can't be with you in person, but we look forward to being with you once again in the future. A great Welsh friend of Benjamin Britten and also Peter Piers was Alan Hodinot, the great Welsh composer, and his wife, Rhiannon Hodinot. And I do hope that the Hodinot family is watching. Alan Hodinot was the most remarkable man and composer, and the family became dear friends to me. He became the subject of my PhD. I commissioned him between 1991 and 2017. Almost every year, I think, I appeared in his last opera and I have recorded his music on eight CDs. He arranged many folk songs and we would like to perform two folk song arrangements from my county the old county of Glamorgan. It's where I was born in Dinas Powys, not far from where Grace Williams was born in Barry. And it is where I live in Radir, which is a suburb of the capital city of Cardiff. And Alan wrote many folk song arrangements, but these were perhaps some of his favorite and the first one is called Am Pontypridd, my Muriad. In Pontypridd is my intention, and in Pontypridd is my love. And he has, the poet has a lover in Pontypridd, and he talks about his cottage on the river Tav. I don't have a cottage on the River Tav, but my home is only five or ten minutes' walk from that great river. And the second song is called Farwell Voy Langavelach Lon. And this is a tale about a place called Langavelach, which is much further west of Cardiff, west in the old um, county of Glamorgan. And in this song, the young man wants to leave the girls of Llangevelach behind, and he wants to see whether the great wide world is better than, in fact, Llangevelach and Wales. And he walks all the way from Llangevelach to Bontvine, or Cowbridge, which is on the outskirts of Cardiff. I can't imagine how many days that would take. And when he gets to Cowbridge, he sees men listing, enlisting for the Duke of York, and he himself enlists for the Light Dragoons. And you will hear these English words 
in this Welsh song, as was common at the time in 18th and 19th century Welsh songs, there would often be the odd English word peppered, as happens, of course, in other languages as well. And so he enlists and the song ends with the girl left behind in Llangevelach waiting for him to come home. This was Alain Hodinot's favourite folk song arrangement and for his 75th birthday I remember surprising him on BBC Radio 3 by singing this as a birthday gift. Thank you. Gael Dwarden er hyn 
two songs now by a young contemporary composer who's a great friend of mine, Paul Miele. Now Paul has become known throughout the world. He had a great coup in 2011 because he was asked to write an anthem for the marriage of His Royal Highness Prince William to Catherine Middleton. And ever since that time, he has become really a celebrity and has received commissions from organizations throughout the world. He's very well known and popular in the United States. In fact, I should say that Alan Hodinot, six years previously, wrote the music for the marriage service of His Royal Highness, Prince of Wales, and Camilla Park Bowles. So what's interesting is that the next piece that Paul wrote after the royal wedding in 2011 was the next song you're going to hear. It's called Siogan. It's another lullaby. And this may be known to some, those of you who remember a film that was made by Steven Spielberg in 1987 called Empire of the Sun, will remember very young Christian Bale uh, lip-syncing <laughs> to this song at a very poignant moment in the film. And so this, once again, is a lullaby like Grace Williams's lullaby Siogan hina blentin arba manwes, clid a chanes a duhon. Go to sleep, my child, on my chest, and nothing will disturb you. And then, a few months later, Paul wrote another song for me, and this is a very famous Welsh folk song called David Garagwen. Garagwen, which is Porthmadog in North Wales, David of the White Rock. And David asks on his deathbed for his harp so that he may play it once again before he dies. And he asks for God to look after his widow and his children. And so Paul devised these two songs as a sequence. And uh, I originally performed this for broadcast. So, um, but I've performed it many, many times. And I hope that Paul also is watching. So two Welsh folk songs by the Welsh composer, Paul Miller. Oh, <laughs> 
I'd like to end this concert with two very well-known Welsh folk songs. I have sung these in China, I've sung them in the United States, and audiences certainly recognize them, although they may not know the Welsh words, the Welsh original words. The first one is Ar Hyd a Norse all through the night. And um, of course this has been sung many times as a Christmas song by many artists. And the second one, the song that will end this concert appropriately, is Norse Galan. And Norse Galan means New Year's Eve. But many people know this as deck the halls with boughs of holly. But this 16th century folk song is a winter carol for New Year's Eve. Now, the arrangements are by none other than Papa Haydn, Franz Joseph Haydn, who like Beethoven was commissioned to set Welsh folk songs. It's been a great pleasure. Paula and I have enjoyed this concert very much, and we hope to see you in person soon. Yeah. Mm -hmm.